country in the Wisconsin Badgers. Hartman has plenty of time and a wide open receiver. Donovan Green into Badger territory and down to the 30 yard line. Big play for Wake Forest. Patient, watch how long they ride the mesh. Second and eight to Beal Smith, swinging it out, makes a man miss, cuts it back to the middle of the field, and is right near the marker. How about Wake in the red zone? Number one in the country scoring points, 26 of 28, and a strike over the middle there to Taylor Morin. It's first and goal, Deeks. Get into their tempo, and they have. Hartman has time. End zone, touchdown, Jaquari Roberson. Field with Mertz on third and six. Need to get to the 35. Graham wants to take off, and he's going to be a yard shy as Jaquez Williams came up to make the tackle. It's fourth down. You're going to block the guy. He stopped and slammed on the brakes. All right, let's try this again. Third and 10. Hartman wide open is Morin this time, and Taylor streaking down the sideline. Another big game for Wake Forest on third down. This team. Another third down, three for three is Hartman on this down. Make it four for four, and Roberson, touchdown. How about the effort? 18 yards and a second touchdown for the junior from Murfreesboro, North Carolina. In their own 34-yard line, let's go. First quarter bowl game, why not? Mertz keeps it himself, first down, Wisconsin. Fits in front, the running backs can't get going. Second and 12, Mertz steps up, throws on the run. It's a strike to DK, and it's a first down inside the 30-yard line. Second and 12 at the 30-yard line, the last play of the first quarter, and it's a good ball inside the 15. First down, staying on his feet is done. Mertz to his left with three backs back there. Instead, they give it to John Chanel, the other fullback. Touchdown question I mean a huge figure involved in that buyout second and nine underneath throws a good one breaking a tackle is Donovan Green first down Demon Deacons <laughs> <laughs> oh man are they oh, so whoa, good whoa. burger not chicken Bur just can't stop thinking about chicken sandwiches right now first down for burger past the 30 yard line to get the penalty called second and six Hand off to Groshik, first down, Badgers near midfield. Kind of sputtered a little bit on the ground. Second and 10, Groshik sees the hole again. It's another first down run. How about Coach Christ in this offense, Marty? Drive as they enter Demon Deacon territory. Groshik's got nowhere to go on third and nine. Nice tackle by Williams, it's fourth down. Got to dial in that accuracy. On third and 10. Throws a ball that's perfect for Roberson, but he was covered up. Needs to get going again. Oh, this ball falls on the ground. It's picked up and it's blocked by the Badgers and covered up at the nine yard line. And Wisconsin will start there as Jalen Franklin is Johnny on the spot. Rush unit can get there. Look at this, the timing of this kick up front. Mertz keeps it himself, touchdown. And taking big tackles. They call his own number and he scores from their own 47. Chase loads up, throws down the field into double coverage, and it's picked off. Another one for Nick Anderson, his fourth of the year. Principally was takeaways for Wake Forest. They've lived on them all season. And you mentioned it now the fourth interception for Nick Anderson. He's had largely clean pockets, just hasn't been on target. Christian Beal Smith finds a little hole and gets at the first down marker at the 40 yard line. Because the offensive line doesn't climb to the second level. It's Beal Smith again wrestled down after a pickup of two. They say he never went on the ground. He gets up and he's inside the 15 yard line before Nelson wrestles him to the ground. How about you just rope a dope? No, nah, he's never. His right elbow looked like it would have come the closest. It never made contact. There's just a pile of badgers. Watch as he, there's nothing that makes contact with the ground. He's floating on two badger defenders in this game. 
Hartman. End zone, another touchdown. Roberson's got three of them. Second half, open up the half with a touchdown throw to Roberson. Crane's kick is a short one, and this is returnable at the eight yard line as Devin Chandler breaking tackles, staying in bounds, tiptoeing the sideline, and he's finally brought down at the 35 yard line as Keegan Good might have saved the touchdown. Play action. Sets the bubble up, Ferguson with his first catch of the day, and it's a big one inside the 20, down near the 10-yard line, has now caught a pass in all 34 games. Plays called in the huddle. Graham will throw it short, and it's done. Let's see if we see it again. No, nope, Mertz keeps it himself, and it's another quarterback keeper for a touchdown for Graham Mertz. <laughs> for the opportunity to play, and it's another one of those messages. Wake's going up top here, got a man too. Hartman with to Roberson again, Marty. Players, as you saw Isaiah Mullins, Isaiah Mullins there. Hartman underneath is short to green, about a half a yard shy on all year. There's only two true defensive linemen on the field right now. Ellison right at him, stoned. And I got the play clock winds down. Garrett is going to be short. That Wake Forest defense with Suleiman Kamara coming back into the game. Opening run for the Deacon defense offense. Hartman moves the pocket. Nice catch by Roberson. It's a first down. New on the field, but since he has, that offense has ignited. Hartman underneath completion. It's a first down for Taylor Morin. Let's go behind you. Hartman chunks it again, another first down throw to Green. A catch. Hartman to Christian Beal Smith out of the backfield. First down Wake Forest inside the Wisconsin 30. Years ago, outmatched UCF. I think this is gonna be a fair fight tonight. And that's picked off. Not reading the defense and Noah Burke steps in front. Hartman does save a pick six, but Burks gets his first pick of the season. He's trying to dump this ball off to Cameron Beal Smith. He, uh, Christian Beal Smith, he never turns around for it. Huge turnover now. Flips the field, and now some trickeration that gets the ball back in the hands of Devin Chandler, and Chandler's down to the 15 yard line. Hey, with two big plays in the game, now play action from the 14 to the fullback, out of the backfield, touchdown Mason Stocky. It's not a bad deal. <laughs> well, you actually do. They brought you some. Hartman over the top trying to get back on track, and it's a good ball that he throws once again to Donovan Green. In the second. This time he hits Green for the tenth time today. There's an interesting note now that pertains to the Sugar Bowl. My friends have, oh, we got oh, a pick. Picked off. He might go, Taylor. Scott Take Nelson over. inside the 30. To the goal line, marked out at the two. <laughs> he had to think on the handoff, they might be thinking four down territory. He tried to force one in there to Roberson. Nelson's just reading the eyes of the quarterback, jumps the route. That's a touchdown. I don't see him stepping out of bounds. Uh, maybe right there. Now it's Groshek, touchdown, walks in. Offensive staff, so they will miss Elliott, but they should be all right with Trevor Lawrence and company. We've got There's another. another interception. How about that? Jack Sanborn steps in front, and the junior from Deer Park, Illinois, gets his first interception on the year, and Hartman is having a disastrous second half. So watch. Here's Sanborn. Watch him. He, it looks like he's blitzing, and then he, he drops back. You see him initially. Third and nine. It's another handoff. Berger, guys, no place to go. He's going to lose yardage there. 
as Luke Masterson and company force the fourth down. Now. And it looked like it was partially blocked yep. by Jasir Taylor. No good. South Carolina, where he followed Will Greer's dad, Chad, down there. It's a completion on a first down throw. Though in this game, he's trying to overcome. Surveying the entire field, nothing open. Now we'll dump it off wisely again, and it's Chapman down to the 30. On the cover, unlock the coverage. And picked again. Jumping the route are the Badgers going the other way. It is Colin Wilder tackled by Hartman at the three. They're going to look for third. Look at that. I mean, he jumped it just like Nelson did. Now it's Berger's turn. Touchdown. And eventually the dam broke. Serving the entire field and finally finds a man open at the 45. It's Roberson. Now. There's plenty of time. Is going to throw it deep into coverage. Roberson caught it. How? You see a lot of hand fighting with Caesar Williams. What a great play. Kern's in trouble. He gets rid of it. Incomplete. Yeah, it's hard. done. It's hard to douse, right? With yeah, that I'm having an issue with and trying to determine who wins it. It's Griffiths on play action will throw short to Roberson. It's a first down. Into question why Ohio State is even playing in this game. We have not seen their best football. We've been told they're one of the best football teams. Oklahoma State, Coach Gundy got the cheese its last night. Christian Beal Smith gets the first down here. See if he can climb in there. He does. Touchdown. 